the latest Fast Five from government technology. Our first story focuses on a state where it's not all that uncommon to hear a warm greeting of aloha. Hawaii's Chief Information Officer, Christine Sakuda is stressing the need to modernize legacy systems, especially in unemployment and financial management. Speaking at NACIO, she emphasized upgrading technology while also equipping the workforce with new skills. Moving to our second story, cybersecurity risks from third-party vendors are a top concern for states like New Hampshire and Kansas. CISO's Ken Weeks and John Godfrey emphasize strong vendor contracts, security reviews, and certifications to mitigate these risks, despite ongoing challenges. Another thing that, of course, goes hand in hand with security is transparency. Vermont and Connecticut are working to increase their transparency by publishing AI tool inventories used in their respective state governments. The inventories highlight artificial intelligence applications in cybersecurity, tax fraud prevention, and transportation, with some tools directly impacting citizens. Even with all of that, bias testing still remains limited. Next, as cleanup continues from hurricanes Milton and Helene, authorities warn of scammers exploiting disasters by posing as charities. The National Center for Disaster Fraud urges caution when donating to avoid falling victim to fraud. And finally, can we say vroom vroom? A new high-speed charging plaza is being built in Colton, California at a major truck route intersection to support zero emission trucking. The facility funded in part by a $15 million grant will include 60 chargers to serve heavy duty vehicles, advancing clean energy in the logistics industry. Well, you are now all up to speed and lucky for you, the stories of public sector innovation continue at govtech.com.